Okay, you heard it here, folks. 24.3 Debbie head lift. We're off and running. Yeah, yeah, walk it off. Walk it off. Okay, here we go. All right, 24.3 has been released. So uh, what do you think about this one? Uh, it's a good old-fashioned take on the crossfit workout of Fran, right? And it yeah. takes those moves and puts a... To put the tougher spin on it, I think. I was surprised. I, I had thought that they were going to keep with the more accessible move type stuff in this. And, and I'm not, I am surprised and I'm not surprised yeah. that they have this. I mean, thrusters is a staple. And then these chest yeah. bars are a, a staple. So on that side, I'm not surprised. Um, but we all feel like, whoa, kind of as the workouts release, like, okay, this is the real deal. So, right. Definitely went from uh, one to 10 real quick here. Uh, so 24.3 is uh, five rounds, 10 thrusters at your starting weight, uh, then 10 chest to bar pull-ups or jumping at chest to bar pull-ups for scale. So you're going back and forth for this for five rounds. If and when you finish that, you've got a one minute rest into five rounds of thrusters at a heavier weight into seven bar muscle-ups for RX and pull-ups for scaled. And the, those gymnastic moves will change depending on your age group. So, yeah, yeah. So let's, I'm gonna talk about my first tip here. I've got written down, adjust to your better moves. So if we're looking at this, take a look at these first two moves, right? Thrusters and chest to bar pull-ups. Now the thruster is a weightlifting centered move. <clears throat> it's a weightlifting move for sure and um, there's definitely athletes who are more weightlifting inclined rather than gymnastically inclined. And there's definitely more people who are gymnastically inclined than weightlifting inclined. There's definitely sides, uh, two sides of the same coin there. Mm -hmm. um, but looking at these two moves, think about which move you have better of. Like if chest to bar is what's really going to help your score, um, think about really yeah. maybe slowing down on thrusters, right? Like pausing overhead, breathing, because your money's not made on the thrusters, it's made on the chest to bar. So if you can almost recover in a way, I know it's recovering on thrusters is crazy, right? But um, then you can uh, tackle that chest bar to the best of your ability and, uh, ability and vice versa, right? If you are gonna struggle through these chest bar pull-ups, jumping chest bar pull-ups, uh, maybe hammer those thrusters, move a little quicker so that you have as much time to chip away on those chest bar pull-ups as you can. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that's you know where I'm thinking like gymnastics, in the gymnastics side especially, small is big. And what I mean by that is Sometimes in the gymnastic side, if you can do multiples, even two reps of something, what we've learned is if you break things up quick, even if you're doing a jumping chest to bar, if you uh, break it up and when you do break it up, make sure you get completely off the bar, completely get your hands off that bar and get the tension out of your body, that usually pays off into bigger scores. So in the gymnastic side, if you're thinking, oh, I got threes, I'm gonna try to do threes or I'm gonna try to do twos, and it ends up being twos or ones, it's probably in your best interest to start with those twos and ones because it will turn into you having more energy in the back side of the workout, which is a bigger score, right? Additionally, because it is a Fran-like workout, we've got to really look at this with a big warm-up. You want to be sweating by the time three, two, one goal happens because by the third round of this, you don't want to be like in... Uh, the pain cave, you wanna make sure that you've really gotten your muscles warm and moving, biking, rowing, maybe even skiing and stuff and moving through that squat pattern a bunch before the workout starts. Um, some of you go late, so you got lots of time, but you time that workout so you got lots of uh, warm up before things roll. For sure, then we come into uh, this tip here of point of focus. Now, as it's written, it's almost like you see two different workouts and it's easy to look at the second part and get caught up like, oh man, how am I gonna, if, I, if I get there, what am I gonna do? No, you gotta look at this first part because no matter what, 
this doesn't happen unless you play this right. And so yeah. I've, when I saw this workout immediately, I thought of some different like camps of athletes. The first camp is I'm just really gonna try to get as far as I can in this first part and that's my workout there. Some athletes are gonna be, I'm just gonna work on trying to finish it because I think I can finish this first part there. Some athletes are like, I think I can finish, I think I can get some work here and maybe get a couple reps and that's still working on this to do this to the best of your ability so that you get a chance at this. And so thinking about that, focus on this part here. This is the main part of the workout because um, even though those elites went super, super fast and had a, quite a few time or quite a bit of time to, to finish this second part, really got to focus on this first part because the second part is bonus. You, you've earned a heavier barbell. You've earned a harder gymnastic move. So if you get there, that's awesome. And that is like, that's just go time. Like, all right, have some fun. Ice down the cake. Ice, right. But this, that's where your money's made. That is where you need to put the most strategy into, like all these tips we just gave you. And that is what is going to make the difference if or when you get to that bottom part. So focusing on that first five rounds is definitely the big, big deal there. Right. And so some of you, we already talked about, you might've seen messages uh, from Sarah or posts from Sarah about like, you know, think about if you want to RX or scale or what version foundations even you are going to perform this workout at. And the thing you want to consider really is the version that you're going to be able to get the most reps on. The version that you can get the most thruster and gymnastic move on. And that's really the version that you should be performing. Right. The one you can complete the most work right, is get the most work done. Yes. Whichever one, whichever of these three gets you that. I mean, of course, it is, it's your, your decision, but like, come talk to a coach, come talk to us, and we'll, we'll help you with decision, we'll get you what you need, yep. and. We've seen you in class a ton, we know where you're at with right. athleticism, your preparedness and stuff, and we definitely want to make sure that we help you make that good decision, so this is an awesome finish to the Open. Right, right. That being said, we'll see you on the leaderboard. All right, let's talk about the moves here. Just a couple of them, really. Let's go over the first one, thruster. Taken from the floor, we gotta go through a squat pattern fully, showing obvious that your hips are below your knees. After that, you're going all the way up into a lockout fully, so you see that your arms, hips, knees are completely locked out to finish that rep. If you're bent with the hips, that's no good. If the knees are slightly bent, or the arms even slightly bent, all of that is gonna be a no rep. You wanna make sure you wait for your judge to say good or count the rep up top on each one of those. So yeah, it's gonna be 10 of those every single time. Once you complete those, you're gonna to go to a couple different options of gymnastic pulls, first one being a chest -to bar So you have to show the judge straight arms in the bottom. We have to show a connection with the chest below the collarbone to that bar for every single rep. You can use different grips, over under, even behind, as long as you're showing straight arms first. Now, you can do a jumping chest bar and a scaled, so that means that your head is at least six inches below the bar. You still have to show straight arms, but now you can use your legs to jump, but you still have to make contact with that bar. And that's what's gonna give you the rep each and every time. After you get through five rounds, of course, then things get harder and heavier.